Lilia is Silver's adoptive father. Silver explains that he believed Lilia was his real father at first, until he noticed how different their ears are and asked Lilia about it. He says, that was the first time Silver learned that they are different races and not related by blood. Silver says that Lilia responded, you never noticed, and laughed, and he was so upset and confused that he ran out of the house into a storm. Lilia eventually found him and brought him back home, but he developed a fever. Silver says that despite how Lilia must have been worn out from searching for him in the rain he still stayed at his side and nursed him back to health, and he will never forget Lilia's smile that day. We learn that Lilia named Silver after the color of his hair. Silver says that he greatly loves and respects Lilia, and treasures the name that Lilia has given him. In a chat, Malleus tells Silver that Lilia once told him, raising children is a nightmare even with magic. But in Lilia's dorm vignette we learn that he received a lot of help with raising Silver from Sebek's parents. Lilia says that he would do things like have an infant Silver drink milk straight from a mug rather than use a bottle. Malleus confirms this to be true. Lilia also relates a time that he took a nap in a park and let a young Silver crawl away. Silver was gone when he awoke, but Lilia says he was not worried, assuming that the toddler would come back on his own sooner or later. Lilia says the Zigvolt family yelled at him for that, but he could not find Silver anywhere he looked. After that incident, Sebek's parents started looking after Silver often, until he was old enough to be left at home alone. Lilia would often leave child Silver alone in their house, in order to go traveling without him. This does not seem to track with Silver's claim during Spectral Soiree that he and Sebek have only known one another for 10 years, but it is possible that Silver was only referring to how long it had been since Sebek's grandfather entrusted Sebek's training to Lilia. Silver refers to Lilia as Lilia Senpai in front of others and calls him father when they are alone or at Diasomnia. The honorific that Silver uses for father is Father Dono, which is not an honorific that is used in daily life. According to the game's creator, Toboso Yana, the original plan was for Silver to refer to Lilia as Father Sama, but Malias Sama and Waka Sama for Malias, plus Father Sama for Lilia, was too much repetition, so she changed it to the historical drama, warrior character type word, Father Dono, instead. During Culinary Crucible, Silver says that he wants to expand his cooking repertoire in order to cook more enjoyable meals for Lilia, and to earn money so that he will be less of a burden on Lilia in the future. Silver tells Riddle about how he used to fall asleep while learning to cook when he was younger, which would lead to Lilia having to take over in the middle of the process. Silver says, it never occurred to me just how much he did to keep me safe. Silver relates an anecdote about trying to cook with a traditional wood-burning fire when Lilia was away from home, as it was a cold day and he thought Lilia might appreciate coming home to a hot meal. Silver says he fell asleep while cooking, waking up to a burned mess that he made worse by adding water to, resulting in an inky black disaster of a soup, and making the whole house smell like smoke. Riddle asks if he was disciplined when Lilia returned, and Silver says, no, actually. He just smiled and said he was glad I was unharmed. I remember him saying that failure was the mother of all success, and that it was okay as long as I learned something from this. Silver says that Lilia then, served himself up a heaping bowl of the mess, and, despite how it wasn't remotely edible, complimented him on the meal's distinctive flavor profile.
Riddle says that Silver's father sounds like a kind man and Silver responds that he is proud to be Lilia's son. A chef ghost mentions how Silver can swap out the demi-glass of his stew for tomato juice to create a tomato stew. Tomato juice is Lilia's favorite drink, and Silver spends so much of the day thinking about how he wants to be able to make tomato stew and cabbage rolls for Lilia that he manages to stay awake, which is very unusual for Silver. Silver's wish in the Wish Upon a Star event is for Lilia to have a long life, as Lilia refuses to tell Silver how old he is, but Silver suspects that he's getting on in years. Silver says that he owes Lilia everything for raising him as a single father, and often finds himself wishing Lilia can live a very long happily ever after. Silver says, I haven't done anything to repay him for all that he's done for me. I'm not going to leave this matter to the stars, of course. I'm going to do everything I can for him, too. Despite not being very good with words, Silver compliments Lilia eloquently after Phantom Bride, to Lilia's pleasant surprise. During Halloween, Silver says that he has the utmost faith in Lilia and that Lilia can handle any situation, no matter how perilous. The Spectral Soiree event is a stressful time for Silver. After 600 of NRC's students are kidnapped, it is revealed that Silver was the only one to hear anything at all, and it was the sound of his father screaming as he lost a fight to an unseen force, which made his blood run cold. Silver worries constantly for Lilia and Malleus's well-being through the course of the event. But when they reunite, a seemingly possessed Lilia pushes him away, and tells him to mind his place. Silver pleads with him, saying that he values Malleus and Lilia more than his own life. Lilia insists on fighting them however, and Silver asks them to forgive him for opposing them. Lilia insults the students for being merely human, and Silver insists that he knows that his father would never say such a thing, as Lilia is a broad-minded soul, who recognizes hard work regardless of species. The moment they begin to fight, however, Silver has a realization, Lilia was never possessed. This is disappointing to Lilia, who had wanted to have a bit more fun. Lilia explains that the scream that only Silver could hear had been intentional, as a hint meant to reveal himself as the culprit. Silver says that he would never suspect Lilia of anything, and tells him that they went too far in their efforts to entertain, which is when Lilia reveals that the possessed were never in danger in the first place. Silver says, it just goes to show, violence is never the answer. Was that what you two were trying to teach us all along? Jamil follows with, how can you be so charitable? There's no way that's true. After the ghosts apologize for their part in the drama, Silver agrees to attend their Halloween party as a gesture of goodwill, as his father has taught him that Halloween joins people together in merriment. Lilia apologizes for making Silver worry, and Silver says, I'm always going to worry about you. No matter how strong you are, you're still the only father I have. During the Halloween party, Silver talks to Kader and Jamil about how he has just realized that something terrible happened. Silver says that he is not afraid of time stopping, but the thought of Lilia and Malleus disappearing from his life has left him frozen in fear. In what may or may not be foreshadowing, Silver explains that this situation has raised the possibility of them becoming enemies one day. He asks, if Lilia and Malleus chose to fight us of their own volition, could I oppose them? Would I be able to turn my blade against them? While speaking with Kader and Jamil, Silver has the realization that once they graduate, they will no longer be able to visit and speak with one another as easily anymore but rather than dreading what is to come he should be treasuring the time that he has now. He thanks Kader and Jamil for the lesson they have taught him, deciding to make the most of the evening.
Silver invites both Malleus and Lilia to dance, and Malleus agrees with, let's dance until dawn. When the students return to the school and the teachers ask what it was that happened, Silver explains, we were all just having a good Halloween. Together. During Phantom Bride, Silver refuses to leave Malleus's side, despite Malleus's protests, because he is certain that it is what Lilia would want him to do. Lilia says that he enjoys video games because they enable people all over the world to play together and break down the barriers that divide them. What a blessedly placid era we live in. Silver responds, and I, for my part, will do everything I can to protect that peace. Silver says he wants to follow in Lilia's footsteps and become a great knight. It is one of the many reasons he wishes to fix his sleep issue. He also says that, while he has a long way to go compared to Lilia, he hopes to catch up to him one day. Lilia and Silver relate a time from during Silver's childhood, when Lilia would recreate trick-or-treating for Silver by having him knock at their own door for treats over and over again, saying, Silver would laugh and laugh no matter how many times we did it. Both Silver and Sebek mention a certain Halloween ten years ago, when an unbelievably sinister aura rose from Lilia, children and adults shuddered in fear and raced to their homes to wait out the nightmare. Silver says that he has never seen Lilia look more terrifying than he did that night, and as he and Sebek were too scared to go to sleep, they promised each other to stay awake until dawn. Silver did fall asleep however, and, apparently Sebek really had to go to the bathroom that night, but he held it in. Silver says that Sebek yelled at him and called him a traitor the next morning. Lilia says that he'd always have to do laundry the morning after Halloween. During the Halloween event, we see Lilia depend upon Silver to help him eject Magic Am monsters from the area when Malleus and Sebek become too emotional. Later on, Silver comments on how Lilia seems oddly delighted at the opportunity to punish the Magic Am monsters. And, when Lilia teases a child about providing a higher level scare, Silver responds, Father, no. During Spectral Soiree, Jamil compliments Silver on his acting, saying, showing the whites of your eyes, sticking your tongue out, popping that vein on your forehead and shaking your hair around. You look less like a long, and more like a foul monster ruling the forest. Silver says that Lilia has trained him well in the art of intimidation. <laughs> we learn about various things that Lilia has taught Silver over the years during Spectral Soiree, such as how Lilia once visited the Spectral Realm in person, and how he can run across lotus leaves on the surface of water, which is the mark of a true warrior. Silver says, I haven't mastered that skill, so I'm not a true warrior yet. Silver also relates a story that Lilia told him about a hero who could fire three arrows at once and hit three separate targets. Silver says that he has yet to reach that point, but he works hard in the equestrian club every day out of admiration for the story, and he does many other forms of training to follow in the footsteps of the hero from Lilia's tale. The information that Lilia imparts to Silver seems to be infamous at the school. During the Firelit Sky event, the members of the tour group assume that Lilia will be taking Silver along with him to the festival. Cater says that Lilia loves spoiling Silver, and is always taking it upon himself to teach Silver things. Trey responds, true, but it feels like most of what he's teaching him is utter nonsense. Other things Lilia has taught Silver include the requisites of being a perfect prince, such as joining a princess in song, having sparkling teeth and riding a white horse.
Celia has also taught Silver that the secret to singing is to look into a pool of water at one's own reflection. Lilia says that he is no stranger to seeing people struggle with things outside of their usual element. In fact, it takes me back. Silver's been through this whole song and dance many a time. It is also hinted that Lilia messes with both Silver and Sebuk during school, for his own amusement. Lilia also cuts Silver's hair, when he does not cut it himself or get a friend to do it. Lilia says that he trained Silver, Malleus and Sebuk personally, and would make Silver and Sebuk swim through rapids and climb mountains as children, until he realized that it made no sense to raise the children as his soldiers when they weren't.実に楽しそうだったぞ。猛獣が there are often references to Lilia's unique culinary process, as Lilia will get a recipe and then cook without ever looking at it. In his profile, Silver's disliked food is listed as Lilia's cooking, and he has said that one of the things he found most surprising after his enrollment at NRC was how delicious the food is. When discussing Lilia's cooking Lilia says, Is this about that time I put icing and candles on a cake before baking it? Or maybe when I mixed two eggs into the batter still in their shells, and Silver responds, I know Diasomnia emulates legends, but to copy those three fairies. This is presumably in reference to the three fairies from Disney's Sleeping Beauty. There is another reference during Halloween, when Silver says, I liked the blue cake at one of the tables in the back. 